second down and one at the 18-yard line. And Moreno completes inside the 10. Has a first down. Ingram again. Stopped by Glenn. Matt Posner here at Zoe's Winter Group Hall of Fame Golf Tournament. He's going to take the ball and throw it into the ground. They he stopped. Did. They all stopped. If you take a look at it. The, the great Dan Marino at the Alonzo Moore. Oh, come on, you are great. Yeah, come on, There's no, you can't dispute the greatness of Dan Marino. Right? What brings you out here today? Uh, just here to support Alonzo, you know, uh, you know, the community. He's done so much here, and it's just a fun day. And get out, you know, build relationships in the community, make some money. It's uh, for the charity. It's, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun playing some golf. Can't beat it. I think there's a lot that, you know, we improved on, and, you know, you always want to do better than you do. And uh, we got to the playoffs, so that's a positive thing, something to build on. Yeah, yeah. Well, so we beat Clemson, and Clemson, Clemson won a national championship. So, you know, you got something to claim there. I'm here with Lucas Ryan, author of The Battle for Life. How are you this morning, Lucas? I'm good. So you met a lot of kids during your journey that, you know, kind of had the same thing that you had and they didn't make it and you did? So what's your inspiration now, now that you've survived this battle and you keep going? What's next for you? Just to keep writing more books and to keep on fighting for me. That's awesome. Lucas Ryan, the book is The Battle for Life and you can get it on Amazon.com. DeBerg to Byers, Byers first to Terry, and look at him go, he's on his way. Byers, will he be caught? Keith Byers all the way to the goal line, is he in? Touchdown! Oh my! 77 yards as he outraced Kevin Smith to the goal line. Well, I'm coming out here to support uh, Alonzo Mourning and all the, the charities that he supports here in South Florida and uh, play golf and meet a lot of good people and eat a lot of good food and have a great time. At 6'7", number 32, Piston God Richard Riff Hamilton! How you hit him on the range? I don't warm up. I'm like Allen Iverson. You talking about practice? Practice? No, I ain't practicing. Alonzo, anytime you know uh, he calls me and asks and asks me to come be a help him out on a situation and be a part of something great, and I think that what he's doing in the community in the city of Miami is unbelievable, and I just wanted to be a part of it. South Carolina, great. Mm. Green Bay Packer. How about my pack yesterday? So what's your prediction? I got Green Bay, New England, Green Bay winning it all. Alonzo Morning. I mean, I, you know, he's a good man. He's been a great guy for a long time, a good friend of mine. And anytime he asks to come and help support his, his cause or his event, I, I'm happy to do it. Rocket giving to Allen, sending him wide left. He has to reverse his field, but he, and he gets away for a moment. Comes back up the middle of 30, 25, 40. Coach past two minutes of 50, down to the 40. Who's the Let's toughest former player on the golf course that you've played with? Uh, LT is great, but he's not effective. Uh, he doesn't get anybody set, but he's great at talking trash and stuff. So, but he, and he's a lot of fun to play with. So, so, so uh, his charity and what he does for kids uh, means a great deal. And uh, you know, we believe you're rich by what you give, and you're poor by what you keep. And you know, in that regard, we're like synchronized swimmers. Uh, you know, what I mean? so all the guys that come out, uh, you know, it's a worthy cause. But they also like to have fun and play golf too. So. Over the middle, wide open net more touchdown Miami. How are you today? Fantastic. I mean, a beautiful day here at Turnberry. Uh, you know, helping out Joe uh, raise some money to keep his programs going, and you know the work that both he and Tracy does are fantastic. So just thrilled to be here. You know, I, I mean, only thing could be better if we were still in the playoffs and uh, we were headed to New England, but it just didn't work out that way. Talk a little bit about that. Dolphins made the playoffs uh, first time in a long time. Adam Gaze, uh, Chris Greer, the new uh, regime for the Dolphins. What's your take on those two? I think uh, we, we have two guys that are working very well together. They're on the same page. Uh, you know, Chris knows what Adam needs, and, and uh, you know, he does a great job of going out finding that kind of talent. And then Adam has put together a great coaching staff that uh, is able to train and teach and develop talent, and we saw the um, the fruits of the labor this year as 
we lost 13 guys uh, for some part of the season or for the whole season, and the Dolphins kept playing as a team. You know, he was able to change the culture, change the, the mindset where guys felt like if they keep playing, they were going to win. And uh, more times than not, that's what happened. Oh, it's 89-84. Sixers, and they get inside. I'm Lucas Ryan. Today I'm going to be interviewing Dr. J, also known as Julius. How are you today? Uh, very good. How are you, Lucas? I'm doing fine myself. Now, what brought you out here today? Alonzo Morning. Uh, good man, good friend, big heart, uh, a community guy, above all the rest, because he just cares so much. And Alonzo was always a passionate player. Jones, Sam Jones racing into the forecourt. Sam under for the driving layup and hits. NBA legend Sam Jones, 10-time NBA champion that played for the Celtics. How are you today, sir? I am doing fine. It's a wonderful tournament, a wonderful day. But why do you call it winter? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. LeBron or Curry? I'm taking LeBron. Are you out of your mind? Come on, I love Curry. I love his long threes. In fact, Curry may be responsible for the four-point shot. They'll make another line four <laughs> feet back behind the three-point line. I'm, I really believe this because he can shoot from any place, and they allow him to do that. Gilmore, oh, stop. Oh, oh, brother. Alonzo has uh, been he, he's, uh, engaged in this community uh, for not only in this one but the ones that he, he grew up in. Uh, it's about giving something back, and Alonzo has been in, involved probably nearly 20 years, or uh, maybe uh, probably more. And Alonzo uh, has experienced something that's very challenging in his life, and he understands the needs of the, the kids and opportunities, and he's, um, he's really attempted to provide those for youth, at risk youth in the community. It's a charity golf tournament, you know, it's, it's uh, basketball instead of football, but, but uh, you know, it's a great cause and, and Lonza does such a wonderful job in this community, so anytime that you can help in a pro-am and play golf, uh, what better kind of thing is there to do in the winter in Florida. Nine coming into this ball game, he is a pain in the neck to throw toward because, you know, he's six foot eight, he puts his hands up, that makes him about 11 foot tall. And then That's old event. I was here last year for the first time. I had a great time and had a chance to really realize what all this foundation does for the community. I absolutely love it, and uh, anytime you know we can support guys that play sports, uh, I'm all in. And uh, again, it does so many wonderful things, and, and it's a beautiful place to be this time of year. So uh, this is one I will pencil in every year. In the air to left field, going back on it is Buck. It's over his head and out of the yard. A two-run home run for Polanco. Career hit number 2,000. Well, I tell you, what a great cause, you know, for uh, Alonso Foundation. Alonso is my neighbor, you know, a very good guy, and uh, this is my second time here. And every time he invites me, I'm going to show up. And it's a great, a great, great event for, for a great cause. Lopez wants it away. And it's a deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Yes. How are you today? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing fine myself. Now, what brought you out here today? Uh, I was asked by Alonzo to help out with uh, the golf tournament today, and it's just uh, it's a tremendous honor to be here. It's for a great cause, and uh, so I'm excited to take part in it. Okay. If you had a son, would you have your son play baseball, or would you encourage him to play golf? That's a good question. I'm actually going to have him play baseball, golf, and soccer. So I figure the more sports he plays, the better chance he has, he has to uh, to support me. Now I'm supporting him. So when he makes to be a big star, makes a lot of money, then he'll support me. Thank you, Mike. The lob for Joe. Makes the catch. Ducks it home. And the Heat win. The basket. Actually, I'm just trying to hit this little white ball around today. <laughs> been pretty difficult with this win, you know, but uh, I tell you, everybody's having a good time, and uh, it's all for a great cause, obviously, you know, we're trying to help the young people and uh, unfortunate families here in South Florida. My day job is working with the Miami Heat, obviously, <laughs> and um, got some great ownership there with Mickey Harrison and the Harrison family and, you know, Pat Riley, you know, and we're trying to 
put a championship team back on the floor again. You know, we're struggling a little bit this year, you know, but uh, that's uh, one of my top priorities, you know, to help contribute to that team the best that I can, contribute to the organization, you know, and then obviously, you know, my foundation is very consuming. Uh, and uh, I have three kids of my own as well, you know, and require a lot of attention, you know, so uh, it's not enough hours in the day to tell you the truth, you know, and then I, somewhere I got to fit golf in there somewhere. So, yeah, yeah, but uh, my plate is full. What would you tell some of the young athletes today, some of the young basketball players, what's the key to the success in getting to the next level? Uh, well, first of all, you, you got to have an educational foundation. Um, you know, when I say foundation, you know, you got to implement and value learning and understand that, you know, the information that you take in will open up so many other opportunities for you. Second, you know, you got to surround yourself with good people. You know, your relationships are so so key. You know, your uh, the people that you uh, connect yourself with will will help you get to where you want to in life. You know, or you know they can hold you back. You know, so it's important for you to surround yourself with good people. Thank you.